I'm about to enter the sting zone with the bullet ant. I'm about to enter the bite zone with the leaf cutter ant. Here we are in the jungles of Costa Rica for the ultimate showdown between the two most painful ants in the world. We've got the bite of the leaf cutter ant versus the sting of the bullet ant. And I'm here to determine which of these two is the true king of pain. Before we start our face-off, we have to track down our contenders. First up are the leaf cutters, which are famous for slicing up plants and marching the pieces back to their nest. These worker ants carrying the leaves are incredibly strong, capable of lifting 20 times their own weight. They harvest these parts to use as compost that grows a fungus to feed the entire colony, including their defenders called soldier ants. Leaf cutter soldiers have no stinger at all but instead use their massively oversized jaws like butcher knives to slice through anything standing in their way, including human flesh. I have personally witnessed a single soldier saw through skin to the bone in just a matter of seconds, and that is why it will be our first contender. To find them, all we have to do is follow this trail of ants back to their underground lair. Here we go. This is it. This is the entry point to the nest. You can see the leaves are disappearing here. Up in this clearing, there's going to be other entry points. That's where the soldiers are going to be waiting to ambush. Oh yeah, see multiple entry points. All right, we want to be very gentle with our steps around these openings because as soon as we disturb this area with vibrations, these ants are going to swarm us. These colonies can span 100 feet in diameter underground. So that's pretty much all of the visible area here in this clearing. There are millions of ants below our feet right now, including those dominant soldier ants. These are the biggest and baddest ants that you could imagine. All right, guys, get ready. So this is the same as knocking on the door. And trust me, we are not welcome. Oh, here they come right here. Look at that. Giant soldiers. If you don't pay attention, they will be all over your body. We're here to collect five soldier ants for the bite test. All right, there's one. Okay, we got one. We are getting absolutely swarmed by these ants. Look at them covering my boots. I'm to All right, this. They're I know you guys. You guys, watch yourself. Stand back a little bit. They come out of the hole with their mandibles open, ready for pain. All right, I got three. They're all over your boots. Oh, ah, oh gosh, he's already got me. Four. Oh, ah, one just got in my back. They're already up my legs. Ah, oh, God, he got me. Oh, okay. How many do we have? We got five. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on. I got one on my back. Yeah. Oh, I sliced my back. All right, seriously. Oh, you got them all over. You guys got them all over your boots. Oh, Matt, one just crawled in your pocket. One just crawled in your pocket. Uh -huh. Oh, Marcus, is on your shoulder. Ah, he's biting me. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Yes, they could definitely bite through your clothes. Huh. There is no negotiating with these ants. They only mean to seek and destroy. It's time for round one. Let's go to the bite table and get this action started. All right. Welcome to the bite table. Here we have in our jar five soldier leaf cutter ants, and oh boy, are they angry. Let's get a closer look at the business end of one of these soldiers. Man, these ants just make you nervous. They are so incredibly strong. Let's take a closer look. Andrew, you got a good shot? It's like having a pair of garden shears on your face. They are razor sharp. We're going to attempt to recreate a swarm of ants on the top of my hand and then see if I can withstand their bites for 60 seconds. Please do not attempt to recreate what you're about to see. Matt, let's put 60 seconds on the clock. 60 seconds. All right, here we go. I'm Mark Vins and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the leaf cutter hand. Here we go, on three. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, that one's got me. Uh, all right, they're all in, start the clock. 60 seconds starting. Uh, uh, oh, they're breaking the skin. Uh, uh, man, that hurts. Oh, 
Oh, what's the time? What's the time? Ah, they're just annihilating my skin, just popping holes. Ah, oh, oh, it's like razor pinches. Ah, they're just like slicing my through my skin like butter. Ah, oh, give me a countdown. It's got to be close. All right, it's done. Nine, eight, seven, ah, six, five. Don't move your hands. Three, two, one. Get them off, get them off, get them off. God, they won't come off. Ah, they just bite harder. Get off me. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. Oh, ah, so many bites. That was so much more intense than I thought. I thought there was no possible way that a leaf cutter ant bite could even come close to comparing, but I don't know. Bullet ant stings up next, but that's the most uncomfortable thing I have ever experienced. The sheer willpower to just like look away and let that happen. I hope you guys got good shots because I never want to go through that ever again. All right, so let these ants go and get back on the hunt. Even with fresh wounds on my hand, there was no time for a break. My turn to face the sting of the bullet ant had arrived. Bullet ants are one of the largest ants in the world and are legendary for having the most painful sting in the insect kingdom, rating above cow killers, tarantula hawks, and the infamous murder hornet. It has also earned itself the nickname the 24-hour ant because the excruciating pain from a single sting can last an entire day. Let's let these ants back off into their nest. There you go. Round one of the most painful ant showdown is in the books. I've got some battle wounds to show for it. Now it's time for round two, the sting of the bullet ant. I've got some good news and bad news. The bad news is, for me, this is definitely gonna happen. The good news is, we don't have to go very far to find our bullet ant. Literally on top of the leaf cutter ant colony, there is a bullet ant nest right here at this tree. I have never seen this before. All I have to do, give a little knock on the door, check this out. Oh, here they come. Can you get your microphone close? Hear them making their battle cry. Oh, they're angry. We just need one ant. Here we go. Oh, we got two on there. Oh, let's see if we can get one to climb off in it. All right, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, geez, that was close. All right, we got an ant, and just like that, we are ready for round two. <sighs> the time has come for the second contender. Those leafcutter ants meant business, but those are flesh wounds. This is venom. Let's get the bullet ant out of the jar so we can get a closer look at exactly what we're dealing with here. All right, I'm just gonna let it crawl onto the table. Got it. Oh man, my heart is definitely racing a million miles a second right now. These ants are not to be taken lightly. Some ants just bite, but some ants sting. And this is the king of sting. Oh. Ah. Did you see that? Jumped right off the forceps. Let me grab it again. Be good, be good. Okay, got a better grip that time. Oh, oh man, okay. He looks angry. It's very angry. The Panera toxin in this ant stinger is ranked number one on Dr. Schmidt's sting index. And I'm not just gonna take one sting today. I'm about to take it on for 60 seconds. Oh man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be painful. Please do not attempt to try this at home. 60 seconds on the clock. Here we go, camera's rolling, camera's rolling, camera's rolling. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone for 60 seconds with the bullet ant. On three, one, two, Three. Ah! Oh, oh, you see the stinger going in? Oh, he got that shot. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, the stinger's still in me. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ah! Mark, we gotta stop the clock every time you take it. All right. Oh, man, that just, it really burns. You have to hold it on there for oh. a whole minute. Oh. Oh, yeah. You can see the stinger going in the skin. You see that? Oh, man. And he's just like working it in. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. 
Oh, 30 seconds. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Oh, the stinger's in there. It's just pumping me full of venom. Mark, you okay? Ah! Ah, uh, no! Ah, it's hot! Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, you see the stinger going in and out? Ah, it's getting me again. Ah! What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? Ah! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Oh! Oh, I'm bleeding. Where the stinger is in. You guys see that? Oh! Oh! Dude, I'm telling you what, that is searing pain. My arm is on fire right now. Uh, uh. Describe the pain. It's uh, hot. It's hot, it's pulsating, it's electric. My skin is just like rippling with pain. You can see it drew blood. The stinger was in the skin just pumping me full of venom. Do you see it pull out there at the end? That was insane. They say it's like being shot by a bullet. This pain is rumored to last for like 24 hours. The sting is getting worse by the second. So which one's Gosh. worse? The acute pain of those leaf cutter amp jaws really hurt. This is different though. This is getting worse. Like you could see the redness is starting to really flare up. Like look at all the capillaries dilating there. Wow. In terms of the showdown, I don't know. What do you guys think? What did you, you think was worse? Just based on your pain reaction and the bites, I think leaf cutter ant. I mean, this was no walk in the park. This did not feel good for a second, but those leaf cutter ants, that is something I never, ever want to go through ever again if I can help it. All right, guys, it's getting dark. Let's release the ant and head back to camp. As we made our way back to the nest to release the bullet ant, the swelling and searing pain increased dramatically. And I was starting to think that I had declared the winner of this ant vs. ant face-off far too soon. All night long, my arm was riddled in bone-crushing pain, and it took everything I had to hold back from screaming out in agony. I maybe got like two hours of sleep last night, guys. This bullet ant sting just kept me up all night long. For what it's worth, I feel my experience has proved the rumors true. The pain became much more intense before getting any better, and the visual swelling and itching alone were shocking. It took multiple days for all of my symptoms to subside. And if it were up to me, I'd rename this species the 48-hour ant. So I had to do the right thing and return to the table. Well, I for one am never too proud to admit when I am wrong. And in terms of yesterday's verdict as to which was worse, I was wrong. Look at my arm, guys. I am in so much pain right now. And look at this. The redness extends all the way from my wrist to my, almost my elbow. It truly feels like a broken bone. Wait, wait, Mark. So are you, are you changing the winner from yesterday? <sighs> no question. No question. I have never felt pain like this from a sting. This is the worst thing I have ever experienced in my life. The bullet ant is the true king of pain of this rainforest. This is my first brush with the bullet ant, but it will be far from my last. Our experiment today was more than just a head-to-head -head comparison. It was also training. Soon I'll be heading deep into the Amazon to attempt the legendary bullet ant glove challenge, where I'll place my hands into gloves filled with hundreds of angry bullet ants that could sting me thousands of times. Should I continue forward in this next mission? Tell us what you think in the comments. I'm Mark Vins. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you in the Amazon.